Hi everybody, welcome to episode 8 of uh, the build series for guitar number 8. And uh, where we're at is the spacer for the pickup is out of the paint shop and ready to be sanded to correct thickness as needed. And these two guys have all been sanded and cleaned off and are ready for the uh, green marble contact paper. So it turns out with the electronics that I'm ending up with, um, I'm not really going to have any gold hardware to go with my green bar look. I mean, it's like I'll have an on off switch and a coil split switch and they're both silver toggles and there's no volume controls or knobs or anything. And the kill button is black plastic. Um, I suppose I could always order up a metal gold Tessie switch for it. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot of gold. So I was thinking of maybe like spraying as much of the stuff on the guitar as I could gold. Like maybe a gold pickup and, and things like that. But I don't know. There's... You can go like all one color for the hardware kind of an idea, which is, I suppose, the traditional way to do it. But you can also like, you know, you can't always get everything always in the same color and uh, or in whatever color you're trying to do. And then there's also like if you mix and match on a piece by piece basis you can sometimes get something pretty good looking too. So, so yeah, I'm kind of taking that mix and match approach here, I guess. Um, Cause you know, you can, you can, I haven't really ever found gold toggles that I've been able to find at least. I think I looked once or twice and Spraying stuff gold doesn't necessarily always look good. It's okay for screws and such, but for other things it doesn't always work out so great. Stuff like toggle switches and threads. So, threads that show. So, yeah, I'm not going to be a whole lot of gold on this. We'll just kind of see how it turns out, I guess.
Well, pretty much all downhill from here. Get the uh, sand the pickup spacer so that it top of the pickup's coplanar with the with the fret plane, and glue that in, and glue this guy in, and glue this guy on, glue the EQ on top of it. The battery box goes on the bottom of the bar, and then. Uh, Start laying the wires and soldering up and pinning down as you go along and uh, install all the switches and strap locks and a strap and so yeah oh and then uh, a depth pick guard so yeah entering the the final stretch here nothing that 
you haven't seen in the last half dozen builds I've done, so. So, yeah, I'll continue filming though, so. Let's see, I guess, um, fitting the pickup's going to be next. So, uh, as you may or may not know, we had kittens here at the shop about two days ago. There's little babies all fast asleep. Their mommy just, uh, stepped outside for a minute. Okay. Checking out the, uh, pickup heights here. We're looking pretty good. Okay, straight edge is on the fret plane, and it only has that much wiggle till it touches the pickup. So, that's not too bad. There's less than a mil clearance. This is an awfully strong pickup. It's got three ceramic magnets on the bottom. So, uh, one, two, three. So, I don't... Uh, I don't think any more shim is, it's probably not a good idea to tell you the truth. I don't want to get in a buzz, and you can definitely get in a magnetic buzz with these things, so. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it right where it's at. Um, you might pick up like a tenth from the glue anyway, so. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it right here, no sanding or anything like that. And just blew it up. So, full disclosure, um, there was no way to like get the jack in once this thing was glued in place, so I had to bust it off, plug the jack in, feed the cord through, and then glue it back into place. So, that's life. Thank God super glue is more forgiving than people suspect, I guess, I don't know. Gotta say, I'm really impressed with this effect. That works pretty good. This, like, marble contact paper on pit guard works real, real good. Makes some nice looking stuff. Suppose you could use pretty much any kind of pattern you wanted. You know, black marble or wood or, you know, whatever. So, something to think about, huh? What do you think, a guitar entirely done in contact paper for the finish?
and maybe clear coated. Or maybe do a telly and just do like the front and the back and then leave the sides wood and then clear coat it. It might be cool. I uh, started checking into doing a classical position for leg bars on this particular guitar. This block would need to be further in this direction a little bit to get a if you wanted the bar all the way out at 45 degree angle. Um, there also might be some question as to whether this leg cutout position is going to be correct for for a, a classical style where you're more or less holding the guitar between your legs kind of a thing. So it might be, it might shift the guitar too far to the left. It might not, I don't know, but, but yeah, so it looks like it's doable in general. Um, this particular guitar, since the bar was already made, it's not correct for doing it, unfortunately. So I'm not going to be doing it on this one, but I might, you know, do it on the next build. And then let's see, over here on the electronics... I'm going to take a slightly different approach. Typically I'll like bring everything together and kind of wire it all up to the first switch and then send it to the next switch and then send it to the next whatever. That, that kind of a thing. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything and send like all the positives to one spot and wire them all together and all negatives and wire them all together and uh that'll make it a little easier i won't be trying to put three or four leads onto like the end of one of these things or something like that and uh yeah i'll only be putting you know like one little wire on each of those kind of small leads on the switches and stuff and so that way i have less chance of melting anything down and then i've just got one wad here and of positives and one wad here of negatives that i have to strip back and twist up and and solder together and then heat shrink them and that'll take care of everything and they should be able to tuck away under here pretty nicely so I'm going to use that approach this time. I think it'll make the wiring a little bit less, a little bit, when you're trying to send three or four, anything more than one wire on one connector is, can be questionable. Really, it's better to like take one wire and kind of like wrap it around the other wire and connect the two wires together and then have some extra wires sticking out that you then put through the connector so but in order to avoid all that you just have one wire coming from everything and you just bring them all together and do it that way
Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video, so until the next one, everybody have a good one.